As the United States faces an unprecedented surge of migrants, a new and deadly threat is emerging within its borders. Venezuelan street gangs, known for their brutality and bloodlust, are using the migrant crisis as a gateway to expand their operations into the heart of America. Among these gangs, none are more feared than Los Rastrojos and Trenderagua, criminal organizations that have left a trail of violence and terror across Venezuela. Now, they are bringing their ruthless tactics to American soil, sparking fear and uncertainty in communities across the country. Los Rastrojos and Tren de Aragua are two of Venezuela's most notorious criminal organizations. Los Rastrojos, originally a Colombian paramilitary group, has become deeply entrenched in Venezuela, where they engage in drug trafficking, extortion, and murder. Tren de Aragua, a Venezuelan-born gang, is infamous for its control over drug routes, human trafficking, and its brutal enforcement of power within the country. These gangs have thrived in Venezuela's lawless environment, where economic collapse and political instability have allowed them to operate with near impunity. Tren de Aragua, in particular, has expanded its reach across Venezuela, becoming one of the most feared criminal organizations in the country. Los Rastrojos are known for their strategic alliances with drug cartels, while Tren de Aragua is notorious for its control over key smuggling routes, including those used by migrants fleeing Venezuela. Together, these gangs are a formidable force, one that has now set its sights on the United States. The primary source of power for Los Rastrojos and Tren de Aragua is the drug trade. Leveraging their connections with Colombian cartels, these gangs have established themselves as key players in the trafficking of cocaine and heroin into the United States. The drugs are often smuggled through established routes in Central America and Mexico before making their way across the U.S. border. In 2023 alone, U.S. authorities seized over 2,000 kilograms of cocaine directly linked to Venezuelan gangs. These seizures represent only a fraction of what actually makes it into the country, fueling addiction and violence in American communities. The drugs trafficked by these gangs are destroying lives across the United States, contributing to a nationwide opioid crisis that claims tens of thousands of lives each year. But the impact of their activities doesn't end with the drugs themselves. It extends into the violence that inevitably follows. With the expansion of these gangs into the United States, a new wave of violence has followed. In cities like Miami and Houston, police have reported a significant increase in gang-related homicides, many of them linked to Los Rastrojos and Tren de Aragua. These murders are often carried out with brutal efficiency, sending a clear message to rivals and those who refuse to comply with their demands. The level of violence associated with these gangs is shocking even to seasoned law enforcement officers. Victims are not just shot, they are tortured, dismembered, and left as warnings to others. This type of brutality is designed to instill fear, both within the gang's ranks and among the general population. Beyond drugs and murder, these gangs have also become deeply involved in human trafficking and extortion. Tren de Aragua, in particular, has been implicated in the trafficking of women and children, often forcing them into prostitution or modern-day slavery. These victims, many of whom are migrants seeking a better life, are instead thrust into a nightmare of abuse and exploitation. The extortion tactics used by these gangs are equally brutal. In cities with large Venezuelan immigrant populations, small business owners and families are routinely targeted for protection money. Those who refuse to pay often face violent retaliation, including arson, assaults, and even murder. These crimes have created a climate of fear within immigrant communities, where reporting the gang's activities to the police is seen as too dangerous. This silence only emboldens the gangs, allowing them to expand their influence unchecked. The spread of these bloodthirsty Venezuelan gangs into the United States is a clear and present danger. Their expansion is fueled by the very crisis that has driven so many to flee Venezuela, a crisis they are now exploiting to bring violence and fear to American streets. But we are not powerless. The key to stopping this threat lies in vigilance, cooperation, and community engagement. Law enforcement cannot do it alone. They need the support of every citizen, every community, to stand against this wave of violence. By staying informed, supporting local law enforcement, and fostering strong, resilient communities, we can push back against these gangs 
and protect our way of life. This is not just a fight for law enforcement, it's a fight for our future.